look a little bit like Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and help run your business. So if you guys didn't already know, I did post a video about it, but uh, yeah, um, I'm getting hitched, which is a Kentucky way of saying I'm getting married, wed, I'm betrothed. I got engaged on October 9th of last year. I made an entire video about it. I'll link that down below if you guys want to go check it out. And we are getting married this coming November. So like not very far from now. And I'm nervous. Not nervous about getting married, anything like that. I'm nervous that like my procrastination is just going to infect this entire wedding planning like thing we're doing here. And like, you know, the day before I'm like, oh yeah, aren't I supposed to have like a dress? Which I definitely do not have yet. We're not even like close to having that yet. But in the meantime, as we are wedding planning, kind of, um, I, I figure we could just, we could do some subscri subscription boxes, some wedding subscription boxes. Cause maybe it'll like motivate me to really get in the wedding planning mood. Cause it's coming, it's coming pretty fast. I know I still have months, but they're like, you should find your dress at least nine months in advance. And I'm like, well, <laughs> oops. So this is my first like bride to be subscription box. This is called the ring boxes and I have some information about it here because of course I didn't look it up before we started. So depending on how far out your wedding is, there are a couple of different plans you can do. So there's a 12 month plan, a nine month plan, and a six month plan. Oh, and a three month plan too. Oh, and a month by month. They just, they got it all. They got everything. Um, I went ahead and went with the nine month plan. So my first box was $15 with the code must have. There's supposed to be over a hundred dollars worth of value inside of this box. There's supposed to be six to eight full size items. I really don't know honestly like what is <laughs> <laughs> what's gonna be in here? I, I don't know. A lot of these boxes say that they're like things to prep you up into your wedding day. So unless there's like a little tiny like wedding planner and I, I don't mean like a book. I mean like a little Martin short inside of here ready to plan my entire wedding. Um, I don't know if there's anything that's actually gonna truly be able to help me prep, but maybe there will be and I kind of hope there is. And listen, I do realize that JLo was like the obvious choice to go with with what tiny wedding planner I would like shoved inside of this box, but I personally really like Father of the Bride. So itty bitty Martin short. All right, so let's go ahead and rip out the... <laughs> I was saying let's go ahead and like rip off the plastic like it was gonna be an easy process, but apparently not so much. Here we have the outer box. It's a very nice like aqua, almost Tiffany-ish blue, but not really. No, actually, I don't know what Tiffany blue looks like. Disregard, <laughs> disregard anything I have to say about Tiffany. Cute, on the inside we just have some little personalized paper and a sticker. It says for the bride to be, which is somehow me. I, I don't know, it's some, um, yep, it's me. Oh, okay, so the first thing in here is a hat and uh, I'm not typically a hat person for several different reasons. One, I feel like my hair isn't like nice and voluminous enough to like wear a cap, it just kind of like sticks it down to the side of my face. Uh, today, I did try to give it a little bit of volume by doing like the cool girl curls that everybody is doing nowadays and I literally can't do, I just can't do them. It's either Little Bo Peep, 70s housewife, or bust. Like there's no, but anyway, uh, the first thing we have in here, is this purple or is this gray? Is it slightly lavender or am I just like seeing things? Regardless of the color, it is embroidered with the word bride on it. Just pretty cute and subtle. I actually kind of like that. I would prefer things like this to be more subtle. I wouldn't want, you know, like a neon trucker hat that says like, I'm getting married or like bridezilla or <laughs> something on it. That just really wouldn't be my style. So this is actually pretty cute. I am hoping it is just a light gray because like, most of the things I own are black and white and gray. So that would be good. It would actually match my stuff. Um, I do see like some of the stitching is kind of coming out here here on the bill and it might not be like the most high quality hat ever. I'm just gonna gently place it on my head. This is the first time I've like done my hair in um, a long time so I don't really want to shove it down on there. I mean yeah that actually doesn't look too far off. I have a pretty large head. I look a little bit like Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Okay, just a little further, just a little further. Oh, and I was gonna say, like, the second reason I don't wear hats is because my head is so freaking big and they typically don't fit very well, but this one actually fits pretty nicely. I know that most of them are adjustable, they're just still not that comfortable on me. Um, right here, typically, I have, like, a little bit of pressure from hats, but I am still having to, like, move my hair over my ears because they poke out of the side because there's just not enough volume to really cover them. Blast! off. I don't know whatever, where I was going with blast. Let's go ahead and move the coffee cup. But yeah, I do actually think this is pretty cute. I like how subtle it is. I just don't really wear hats that often, but uh, you know, if I do, I might pop this on. Okay, next up here, we have a mysterious little white box. It feels kind of empty. It sounds kind of empty too, so I'm excited to see what is in here. Oh, 
They're tiny. These are actually really precious. These are these are super cute, and I'm really sad because I can't wear them. So we just have like the tiniest, daintiest little pair of earrings that say Miss on them. I actually think those are really cute. Again, very, very subtle. Like you wouldn't know that says probably anything unless you were like up on my ear. And I don't really like people up on my ears. So I doubt anybody would really know what they said, but I think those are super, super cute. Unfortunately, my ear holes <laughs> have grown in and I'm too much of a baby to go get them pierced again. I first got them pierced when I was like seven, I think, seven or eight years old. We went to Claire's, of course. I went with my friend Casey and I was so scared. And the deal was if she went first and she didn't cry, then I would do it. And let me tell you, she bared in, clenching those fists, just refusing to shed tears just to make sure that I also got my ears pierced. And I don't remember it being a super traumatic experience or anything, but I just don't like needles and I would prefer to not do it again. These are gold plated. It doesn't say like what carrot or anything, um, but yeah, they're really cute. Again, just very, very simple and little. Okay, next up here, we just have like a little, little keychain. <laughs> it's a keychain. It's one of those like leathery tassel keychain. I don't know why this is giving me like kind of maybe 2000 or teenish 14ish vibes. I don't know what that where those numbers are coming from. I have no idea if stuff like this is popular then. I have no memory, so how on earth would I know that? But um <laughs> that's what I'm kind of thinking of. I do think it's pretty cute though. I like the white and the gold. Pretty subtle, pretty simple, and then it does say bride there right on the tag. You know, none of this stuff is screaming bride in your face like a like a bachelorette party in Vegas, which might actually be where I'm going. <laughs> What an intense smell. Wow. <laughs> Outside of the packaging, I will have to say it doesn't feel like the highest quality um, purse tassel <laughs> that I've ever felt. It does feel a little bit on the cheaper side, kind of like something you might like snatch up at the Walmart checkout. Why do I kind of like that smell? It smells like a pool floaty. There's just, is there something about the plastic? It's a very particular plastic. It smells real good. Uh, but it's still kind of cute. I just do wish the quality felt a little bit nicer because I feel like it might not stay together for very long. <laughs> oh, okay. So next up here, we have just two little stretchy hair ties. I actually use these types of hair ties all the time. And uh, I like that it says to have and to hold your hair back. I think that's pretty cute. And then they just say bride across them with a little heart. They're white and black. Again, pretty simple, pretty subtle. I feel like these are a pretty useful item and you can obviously use these like after you're married because once they're like wrapped around your hair, no one can read them anyway. These are just a super standard little hair tie. They aren't super stretchy. I was kind of hoping they'd be a little bit more stretchy. Oh, pretty good flying ability, so that's good. I'm never gonna find that. So we just have a couple of items left here in the box. One I'm pretty excited about, but before we move on, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace has been so helpful for me in my business, but it's also been really fun creating my own website. I have personally used Squarespace to create a unique online presence for my business, but you absolutely do not have to own or run a business to have a Squarespace site. For instance, I'm also using Squarespace to build my wedding website, and it's been so fun and useful. So you can have a beautiful, unique site for anything that you're passionate about. and it's so easy. All you have to do is select one of the mini star layouts and from there you can add and remove pages. Use customizable galleries to display images and videos in unique ways. You can even connect your social media and display posts from your profiles. So whatever it is that you're passionate about, whether it's running your business or just creating an online presence for yourself, Squarespace has all the tools you need. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexander Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Rin says thank you too. Alright you guys, so I only have a couple of things left in this box here. I'm gonna save the thing I'm most excited about for last. Now I don't want you guys to get your hopes up too much. Because what it is truly isn't one of the most exciting things in the world, but for me and the person I am, I'm very excited about it. But before we get to the exciting, unexciting thing, um, we have two little luggage tags here. I'm assuming there are two, one for like each person. <laughs> okay, just a second. Okay, so this is what they look like. We have a pale pink one and a gray one and in gold it says, so the adventure begins. And I don't know why, but like the first thing I thought of when I saw this gray one was, it looks like a tombstone. <laughs> doesn't it? I mean like look at it from the back. Can't you just like envision like an RIP right there? I personally honestly can't see my future husband using one of these because it wouldn't match his luggage. But hey, more for me and uh, I really like Grace. So I think I would prefer the tombstone. Also, I think it's kind of funny. We are going to be taking a honeymoon. We are planning on going to Edinburgh because it's the best place in the world. You know, I've not been many places in the world, but I have never felt more just like peace and calm than I have when I was in Edinburgh for like, it was like three days. I was like, Oh, 
I found my place. He's also been there before too and he really loved it so when we were thinking of honeymoon places like it didn't we weren't even thinking of any we're like oh we're going to Edinburgh right? Forget all the fancy like you know for beach verandas or those little ones that are like have glass floors like over the ocean you can look at all the fishes that just kind of like freaks me out anyway. No we're going to Edinburgh it's gonna be winter it's gonna be rainy it's gonna be cold and I'm gonna love it. Speaking of it being cold and me always wanting to be comfy and cozy in any situation uh, the exciting thing to me we have here is a pair of socks. How tremendously let down are you guys by the exciting thing I was talking about? I warned you though. I def I warned you. I told you. I was like, this is only exciting to somebody like me. Case in point, I got an Amazon package today and it was just like 36 pairs of socks and I was so excited about it. Okay, well. <laughs> I still like socks. I do like socks. These are gray, which I do like. I also do think this is really adorable, like the tube sock top with like the little pink band. I think that's very, very cute. They have a white toe and heel. And then on the bottom, they say some stuff and maybe it's good that they say it on the bottom just because there's a word that just, it's not my favorite. So uh, this one says future. And this one says wifey. And uh, I'm just not a fan of the word wifey. I don't know why I can't explain it. But the socks themselves are super cute. I also like that they are kind of like ribbed. That's a little hard to see, but they are ribbed around. They feel like nice quality. These actually feel like really good quality. Some of the stuff in here hasn't felt like the best quality. But these actually feel like really nice socks. And again, I think they're super cute. And the words are on the bottom. And I'm not going to read the bottom of my feet. Get the cookie crumbs off the hat. Okay, so going back and checking, I did get my first box for $15, which I think for $15, this is pretty nice. You got some earrings, a hat, some socks, a couple of like keychain-y type things, some tags. So for 15 bucks, I don't think this is too bad at all. There really wasn't much like wedding preparation stuff. I kind of thought it would be like leading you up to your big day. There might be things that come in like steps to help you plan or so. I, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I looked at the fine print at the bottom of like the subscription area and it does say that it renews for $35 a month. So taking that into consideration, I think that might be just based on like the quality feel of some of these things, a little tiny bit high. I think the socks are probably honestly the best quality feeling thing, then the hat, then the earrings, and then these things kind of feel just a little bit on the cheaper side. So $35 might just be like a smidgen, a smidgen high. I do like that it's like little gifts that you can either give a bride or buy for yourself leading up to the wedding. I think that's really cute. But I also think it might just be like a little high for things that you actually can't pick out yourself. Like this hat, I do now think it is. I love lavender color and uh, I just really don't wear purple. I never have. I would much prefer this to be in like a gray, black, white, something like that. Something a little bit more neutral to go with like my everyday style, um, but I couldn't choose that on my own. So I just think 35 just might just be just a little bit high. Just a little bit high. Maybe if it was like $29.99, I think that would be a really good price. Also, do you have to pay for shipping? Shipping not included. Oh no. So by the time this is all said and done, you're definitely paying over $40 for this box. And over $40, I think that is way too much. I definitely think think with that price plus the shipping that is far too much for the quality feel of these things and also the inability to pick out your own stuff. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know if that's opinions down below in the comments. There are a ton of these types of boxes and I was thinking about doing several of them leading up to the wedding. Maybe if I get like a couple different ones I can unbox them all together in one video every month so we can like kind of compare. But uh, yeah that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! <laughs>